Good morning, good afternoon, good day. Hey, it's Lish. Thanks for checking out my channel. And today we're doing a Gina Curl video. Not just any video, but we're doing my second retouch video. So got the Gina Curl initially back in April, 2021. I got my first retouch February of this year, 2022. And now it is August, okay? And my second retouch was August 10th, which was Wednesday of last week. Um, Right now it's Sunday the 14th, that's when I'm recording this. And uh, let's talk about it, y'all. Let's go ahead and run some clips from me getting my hair done, and then we'll discuss. Just wanted to film really quick before I head to this appointment. Unlike my other retouches, I'm not getting this done in Connecticut. This time I'm getting it done in Arizona. So uh, this is what it looks like, fresh out the wash. Still kind of wet, I'm probably gonna <laughs> to take a towel with me so it doesn't drip all over my shoulders in the car but let's go ahead and kind of just measure the longest pieces because I am getting a cut today I am getting a cut to where the bottom of my hair matches in length so I don't want it like all mismatched like it is right now if you see the back so I'm finally getting this taken care of even if it means giving up some of my length so that we have an even bottom I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of the longest pieces I see here and measure them out I'm just gonna take this big old chunk. This is gonna be an estimate again because the hair is wet. Okay, I'm looking at 13. 13 inches is the longest piece on the left. On the right, let's say this is the longest piece here. This piece. about 12 and a half there's like a one piece that goes all the way to 13 but about 12 and a half I just wanted to show y'all this is what it looks like up close all that new growth coming in I feel like the new growth is darker than the rest of my hair do y'all see that by chance I don't know if it's just um, a result of being in the sun and the sun making my hair look more brown or does the Gina curl process make my hair a different color I can't tell but yes, this is all the thick, thick new growth in here. All right. Now that you have seen all of that, let's get going so I'm not late to this appointment. <laughs> As you saw, pretty similar process to the usual. At this point, if you've seen any of my previous Unicurl videos, I've put the process, what it's like getting the Unicurl done in the salon. I drove to Chandler, Arizona. Um, I currently live in Arizona myself, and I drove to Chandler to a salon called Endless Creations. Um, my hairstylist, Miss Cece, hey Miss Cece, she did an amazing job with my Unicurl. And right now, what you're looking at is, um, the results of a wash day. Basically, I got my hair done on Wednesday. You're supposed to let your hair air neutralize for three full days and then you wash and condition. So today, this morning, about a couple hours ago, I washed and conditioned and put in my little hair products and this is what we're looking like. Now, let's get into the details details though because 
for those that have watched my previous Gina Crow videos, you might be like, your hair look a little different. It's not as curly as usual. Yes, let's talk about it. Before I even get into the nitty gritty, let me go ahead and preface this by saying, I love, 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 the current condition of my hair, okay? Uh, Miss Cece gave me a nice cut, so it's nice and even, which I've been missing for the longest. Um, and she, I think, did a little bit of layering. I really love the fullness I'm getting, even though it's kind of a slick style. And I wouldn't necessarily call these curls, but I would call them waves. And I really, really love waves. And I actually love the waves more than I do the curls. However, <laughs> when I got this Gina Curl Retouch done, right, I got gray and pink rods or coral. Those are the same color rods I always get. Um, and I did notice when we were done with my salon day, okay, I was in the salon from 9 a.m. to about 5.45 p.m., so almost nine hours. Um, at the end, my hair wasn't as curly as I was used to. Um, I know initially when you get a Gina curl, your hair has these tight, tight curls initially, and then with time, they loosen, right? So with my hair starting out at this kind of loose wave, um, although I actually really like this style and I kind of prefer it to curls, that's just a personal thing, um, I'm a little bit concerned about the longevity of it, right? Because paid about $9.50 for my hair to be done and that's basically, that's a big chunk of change, right? Um, I'm also expecting six months of wear out of it at least. Um, and at this point in time, I can't say how this will look at the five, four, six month marks, you know, because I'm used to my hair being so curly and then elongating. At this point, it's already very loose. So I'm interested to see how my hair will look in about a month or two, right? Um, from previous Gina Crow videos I did when I measured my hair, I could say that my hair grows about half an inch per month. So like in one month, I um, might have half an inch, but two months I might have a full inch of new growth. And because my natural hair is 4C, thick, thick, thick hair, um, I just know that that new growth is not going to blend that well at all with the waves. Um, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can finesse because I'm not trying to get my hair done again in a month or two. Like, you know, I paid the full 950. Given the 950 also goes into the nine hours of work they do to your hair in this long. That's like, that's a full work day, right? So it makes sense, the price point, but at the same time, I am also paying for the longevity of a five, six month style. So we'll see how that goes. That's the only concern I have as of right now, but clearly I'm excited because I just, you know, it's freshly done as of three days ago and it just looks so good. Oh, I love it. Yeah, okay, so I showed you guys the salon, right? Let me go ahead and roll the clip of this morning when I initially got out the shower. Roll the clip! So let's compare the experiences from Hair's Talent to Endless Creations. And this is not to bash either one of them. This is just an honest comparison of some of the things I noticed. So for me, the worst part of getting a Gina Curl done is the blow dryer part or the hair dryer. Like they put you under a dryer and you sit there for hours, um, literal hours. Okay, the last retouch I did and this most recent one, I sat under the uh, dryer for about two and a half hours. 
um, maybe even this time I think two hours and 45 minutes ish so uh, a long time of just sitting there right um, and two things happen number one your butt hurts your butt hurts bad like you just be scrubbing right <laughs> and then the second thing for me at least um, whenever I went to Harris Talent the first two times <clears throat> initial gin curl retouch I felt at some point my scalp was just so hot, it was like burning. My scalp, along with like the tips of my ears, would feel like they were burning. It was very uncomfortable, a very uncomfortable sensation because I, you know, I, I literally thought that was burning, but I was, there was nothing that could be done. Like they give you fans, they give you things to, you know, drink water so you're not dehydrated, but that's not going to take away from the fact that I felt like my scalp was burning. And by burning, I'm not talking about a chemical burn. Like there was no chemical burn. It's talk, I'm talking about the literal heat temperature coming out of those dryers endless creations the in chandler arizona that i went to this time however i never felt that i never felt that like yes it was pretty warm it was kind of hot up in there uh, i believe miss cc said it was 120 degrees fahrenheit for the full two and a half two hour 45 minute duration of time i was under the dryer however i never got the sensation that my my scalp was like burning my ears are burning like the heat like 120 was just right for me like i felt comfortable enough to wear i mean i was still squirming because my butt hurt but <laughs> my scalp and my ears were okay like honestly she did a really 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 good job with that portion as well as far as the atmosphere of endless creations i really loved it it was miss cc and then she had two people there um that were helping her out as well and I think one of them was mainly taking uh, photographs and video for content and the other was more of like the, the front desk duties but the vibe was nice like I love the vibe I loved just hanging out with them getting my hair done talking to them about whatever like it was a very chill vibe very comfortable like when I got there I had like full trust in her and just let her take over with my hair so um yeah like do you see this hair like some of y'all might be like i don't know lish is supposed to be more curly it is usually supposed to be more curly than this but i just so happen to love waves so i love this style i really do like again my only 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 concern is the longevity i just hope that with my new growth growing in i have a way that i can finesse to where it doesn't look crazy and with it being you know not as curly um Miss Cece had contacted Gina, who told her, who told me, <laughs> that um, in order to try to keep my curls or waves longer, to just scrunch, a scrunch as much as possible. So I'm scrunching more than usual these days, just to try to see if I can keep some of that curl in there for longer. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is the do. Let me move around a little bit. <clears throat> so this is the left side. I love how freely it moves right side okay and again like oh uh, i can't emphasize enough how much i love the cut like y'all know y'all know look at my old videos look how uneven my hair was it's just such a relief like yes my hair was already kind of healthy yes my hair was growing and thriving but that unevenness really made me somewhat uh self-conscious of my hair like I just really wanted it to be even and I was being stubborn. It's my own fault. I was being stubborn the past two times I went to Harris Talent. I was like, no, <laughs> like they were just like, hey, you want to, you want to trim it? You want to make it even? I was like, no, no, <laughs> you know, like that, that was me. So finally got it cut and I love it. You know, I'm, I actually really like my hair this length. Like I was trying to grow, grow out my hair and I still might, but this length right here, this length right here. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. Anyway, is there anything I didn't talk about yet? Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I'm back. Okay. I did take a little hiatus for a couple weeks here on YouTube to kind of just focus on other things going on in my life. And also just because, you know, when your hair is not done, sometimes you just don't want to do much. Like, not to say I didn't do much. I was still working and doing other things in life. But as far as filming and photography and videography, content for y'all content for the gram content for tiktok and all that like i would do content here and there but i just didn't feel like recording whole videos <laughs> for youtube during that time because i want my hair right you know i don't know if you noticed but i got my hair done then i started feeling my stuff and i got my nails done you like it you like it and then got my eyebrows waxed i'm just taking care of myself you know self-care is so important it's just like a 
Oof, I'm alive again. That's how I feel. There's two areas that I'm going to be focusing on deep conditioning and um, the next Gina Curl video, which will be my one month, I'll definitely have plenty of updates on that as well as uh, the status of my growth and all that. For those that are uh, watching this video and you like the content on my YouTube, but you want some more content on a more consistent basis, definitely check out my Insta, check out my TikTok. I'll be on there. I was resistant of TikTok for like the longest, but I'm actually on there now. I'm putting stuff out. I got all kind of random stuff on there. Yes, I be following the trends, but sometimes I be singing too. I recently had somebody ask like, hey, you still sing? I'm like, yeah, go check out my TikTok. And I got my own album out, so that's that. And I'll be working on another album that I'll probably drop next year, so just FYI. But that's it for this video, y'all. Hopefully you guys uh, are satisfied with this update. I know as far as Dina Curl videos, it's always the retouches or the initial Gina Curl, you know, being done on my hair that's like the most watched content. Like you guys want to see what it's like if you go to the salon and get this done. Given it's different for everybody, you know, you can get different rods. You might have different natural texture than I do, but you know, it's good to kind of get an example. When I was first thinking of getting my own Gina Curl, it took me a year. I, I was on YouTube for a year watching other girls <laughs> get Gina Curls and kind of assessing if it's something I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, I, ah, I just love it so much. I can't, okay. I'm gonna let y'all go, I'm just rambling here. Um, if you have any questions on um, anything I may not have addressed in today's video, leave it in the comments below. I will get back to you and I'll see y'all next video.